All right, hey, shalom, my kiam. First and foremost, I give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rikak Wadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul Indians, West Indians, and Haitians, and according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, push his knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters, and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one you unique, ignorantly call Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one you unique call God, one you unique call Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means He to be or He is. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means He delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to say Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shai, Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shai, and the water Yah by Shem Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The water Yah by Shem Yahweh Shai for the Holy Spirit. The water Yah by Shem Yahweh Shai for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And the water Yah by Shem Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren out there pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. And coming back at you with another uh, lesson through the Holy Spirit, man. You know, sometimes when you are uh, you find videos, and you sit on it, man. You try to go back and look for it, you can't find it. But, but anywho, it's, it's still on Esau. Um, this this, this young um, Edomite, look like an Edomite man, saying the things that the apostles and elders been teaching us, and what we teaching our people today. Who controls this society? Who controls this world? The elites. Esau, so on and so forth. But this this is like a common knowledge. This is like common information now. If you up on some type of, you know, some type of real info. There's a lot of people out here still fucking asleep. They're gone. They're just destitute for destruction. So I'm gonna let this young man speak, this young Idumian. <laughs> oh, Salakia. They designed the school curriculum. They designed it to create a bunch of worker bees who never pay attention to what's actually happening. The Rothschild and the Rockstar family are super correlated. Greta Thunberg, that climate change chick, her great grandpa's a Rothschild. And Bill Gates is directly related to the Rockstar family. Like, how is it the same people that are all related that are running things? Like the Rothschild family, they own all the bank systems. The Rockefeller family, they designed the school curriculum. They designed it to create a bunch of worker bees who never pay attention to what's actually happening. The Rothschild and the Rockstar family are super correlated. Greta Thunberg, that climate change chick, her great grandpa's a Rothschild. And Bill Gates is directly related to the Rockefeller family. Like, how is it the same people that are all related that are running things? Like the Rothschild family, they own all the oh bank God. systems. The Rockefeller family, they designed the school curriculum. They designed it to create a bunch of worker bees who never pay attention to what's actually happening. The Rothschild and the Rockstar family are super correlated. Greta Thunberg, that climate change chick, her great grandpa's a Rothschild. And Bill Gates is directly related to the Rockefeller family. Like, how is it the same people that are all related that are running things? Like the Rock. Yup. Because it's all according to biblical prophecies. All right, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, three classifications of human beings. Well, I won't say human beings. Of men of on, on this planet earth three classifications the, the sons of the wicked the edomites the elites of the society they're the ones that's running this society right now through uh, uh through lies and deception and satanism okay and you got the sons of god who are the israelites and you got the sons of men who are the other nations the earth is given who's this why who gave him this authority this power Yahweh boy, Yahweh shy, man. For the fulfillment of prophecy. Pro for prophecy's sake. That's it. And he's on his way out because he's being exposed. This type of information was not privy to the average so-called American. The average uh Israelite out here, like I was privy. Now now we're able to to see these things in in in, in, the fing in our fingertips through these phones, these laptops. So on and so forth, you know, and our apostles and elders, they're, they're the ones who, who brought this to the forefront when they put this information on the YouTube, man. And everything started to change for the elect's sake. Even time itself has changed 
has moving fast for the elect's sake. It's all about the elect being gathered and, and Lord willing, we part of that number, man. Okay, the earth, this, this entire planet is controlled by these elite banking families and there's it, actually 13 bloodlines where you do more in-depth research. Okay, the earth is, is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? So ever since he's been in power, he's been covering up the truth with lies. You're dealing with iconoclasm. You're dealing with white supremacy over this whole entire planet. You've been taught lies all your fucking life. You said the Rothschild controlled the banking system, which is the money. So the money's not yours. But this is the money we got to use to survive, pay our bills, pay rent, child support. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, man. Then you got the Rockefellers who came up with the school curriculum. A lot of you Jakes get your master's degrees and all that. A master degree. Who's your master? Who's your master, Leroy? <laughs> Having a little fun with it. Esau. That's Esau degree. That's Esau education, man. You being a Hebrew Israelite, your real education is in the is in the Holy Scriptures, is in the Bible. Dealing with the 12 tribes, your ancestors. Law, statutes, commandments, and these prophecies coming to pass, man. That's where your true history lies, is in the scriptures. King James Version of the Bible, the 1611, with the Apocrypha. Okay? So he's on his way out, man, giving all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Job 12 and 6, the tabernacles of robbers. Robbers. Rape. Murder and robbery, deception, wars, the studies, the, the lineage of the wicked, prosper, and they that provoke God are God are secure, into whose hand God bring it abundantly. Is this is the end has been declared since the beginning? Do you understand what I'm saying? The blessing that came from Isaac to Jacob to Esau. And also, you got to link that up. Second Ezra 6 and 9. Esau is the end of the world. I'm always going to harp on that scripture. Drive it home. Esau represents the end of the world. And Jacob represents the beginning of, of there that follow it, man. So the tabernacle of robbers prosper. And they that provoke God are secure. Into whose hand God bring it abundantly. But ask now the beast. They shall teach thee in the fowls of the ear, and they shall tell thee. You understand what I'm saying? Look at the condition of the earth. Look at look at the condition of the animals. Life itself is in danger. You have creatures that have been supposedly been extinct, became extinct under this man rulership. And, all right, or speak to the earth, and they shall teach thee. And the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. Meaning to look at the condition of the earth, the oceans, and things of that nature. It is all defiled. It is all being destroyed under this devil. Who know it not? Who know it not in all these that the hand of Yahweh Shem Yahweh had wrought this? In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? So you got to be like, how long, Heavenly Father? But it's not long at all. We are soon out of this fucking condition. Because it's going to be a new heaven and a new earth under Yahweh Shai and the tabernacle of David where righteousness will dwell forever, where life would flourish forever. And the rest of you nations will be in captivity under the Israelites in, in the near future. Okay, Psalm 73 and 3, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Yeah, you know why? Because we're freaking poor. A lot of us from, from poor backgrounds, impoverished backgrounds, projects, third world countries, you name it, group homes. So hell yeah, you see people from like, God damn, I can't get that. Well, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Because this is not our rest, not saying you can't hustle. Get something decent for yourself. Take care of yourself. I'm not saying that. You're not going to get the status and the and this, this corrupt 
riches of this world. You don't want that shit. Because you got you to gotta fucking turn yourself into a damn uh, 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 an androgynous fucking, I don't know what the fuck to call these niggas nowadays, man. Bunch of, you can turn yourself into a weirdo. All right? For there are not, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm, but it's only for a moment. They are not in trouble as other men. They don't go through the shit we go through. But guess what? The things that we go through, the things we have dealt with as a people has made us stronger and stronger and stronger. Our mental capacity, our mental state has became stronger. We're not broken out here, especially dealing with the elect. Everybody wants to be a nigga, dealing with the tribe of Judah, but nobody wants to be a nigga, man. <laughs> you can't walk in our fucking shoes, man. Start off with the head tribe on down. Ain't none of you motherfuckers, you heathens, can walk in our shoes, man. You don't know what it's like. You understand what I'm saying? But these things make you a superhero. Make you un 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 unfuckwittable, so to speak. Unconquerable. You understand? Because what, what's that saying in the world? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Makes you strong. So we getting stronger and stronger. They are not in trouble as other men. So how the hell Esau in his captivity, he's going to, I don't know how the Lord going to do it because he's going to be going to, I'm going to snatch spi spinal cords out that motherfucker and his fucking woman, man. Because we going to remember all the atrocities you've done unto us as a people. All right. As a nation, what you've done to the Native Americans, what you've done to the Spanish speaking tribes. What you've done to the Negro tribes, even the heathen nations. All right, is going to rejoice when we when we finally get you devils. When most I finally get you devils, man. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Everything goes well for a well-off Edomite, man. They got the best jobs, the best houses, and all that shit. They got boats, yachts, million-dollar uh, uh, mansions, Super Bowl rings. <laughs> But at least in society, they control everything, man. You know? Therefore, pride compassed them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. And that's all they've been doing throughout this whole planet. Violence. Their aunt, their, their, Slaki, Slaki, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the heart could wish, man. You see? But that's a trick bag. The most I put him in, man. The scriptures say, he that in heaven shall laugh, the only father shall have them in derision. All right. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully like, huh? That was years ago. Slavery happened years ago. So this is a corrupt system. So if you down with them, the police department, FBI, the military, you have to roll how they roll. You got to be corrupted like them. Okay. All right. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walking through the earth. They set their tongues up pretty much. They 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 believe that they, they can defeat the most high. They they really believe they can uh, uh reconstruct the creation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Therefore his people have returned hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. That's that payback. All right. All right. So that payback is coming. I don't want to keep reading, but the earth is being controlled. You could continue reading that on your own. It's controlled by the wicked, the Edomites, and they are on their, they are on their way out. OK, so let me see a closing scripture. All right. Yet for a little while, for. Close out with this scripture. A little while. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, Job 37. Not sorry, Psalms 37 and 10. Sir, for evildoers shall be cut off. 
Psalms 37 to 9. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. So that, that the Lord is going to turn this thing around, which he's doing right now by, by the preaching of the word and the elect of Yahshua Allah being waken up. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt digitally consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai, Shalom.